What is going on guys? Today I bring you another recap video of things you may have missed from yesterday's Destiny 2 launch trailer and man I spotted some amazing things. Possible lightsaber being one of them? Well, you'll see later in the video. But before we go any further, guys, I'm giving away a Rockstar Destiny 2 in-game exclusive gear code. To win one, simply drop a like on this video and leave a comment. Okay, so going back over the trailer from yesterday, I've spotted a few things definitely worth mentioning. So let's start. So the trailer starts with Ghoul uh, being addressed by his council, who we don't actually get a clear picture of, but with a little bit of editing, we actually do. Check this dude out. <laughs> The man just looks like a giant slug. Look how diddy his head is. Jesus. We then get to see Fifty Shades of Gary, where we see the speaker is all tied up. I mean, I would go into detail here, but due to YouTube's new demonetization rules, I can't. But let's just say, it don't look good for the speaker. Okay, so moving on from that grittiness, we arrive at a part within the trailer where Guardians are preparing to take on a fight. In this shot, we see that also beautiful 8 shooter the hunter on the left is holding. Don't know if it's just me, but does this look a different colour from the last time we saw it? When it pans back and we get a full body view of these guardians, we see a few interesting things. Firstly, that sword on the hunter's back. Man, that looks great. Look at the whip for that blade. That will sure make some pork chops out of cabal balls. Also that awesome looking FWC hand cannon on that titan's back. Looking truly epic. We then see a cinematic of five guardians following Cade who is close behind Hawthorne. Although this is only a cinematic, some of the things we see here are awesome. Especially that warlock helmet, look at that thing, definitely Vex inspired for damn sure. Now in this shot we see Cade behind Hawthorne who has her sights on someone, but who is that? At first you'd think we can't see, but if we zoom into that scope, we actually see it's no one other than... <clears throat> We then see Cade holding a chicken. Winner winner chicken dinner. <laughs> we then get another look at a Vex Warlock helmet. This thing just looks absolutely incredible. There's no two which ways about it. Yes, this is a cinematic, but hopefully this helmet is obtainable in game somehow. We then get to see for the first time ever, I believe, Ikora riding a sparrow. Two things stand out to me here. The first thing is she's firing that thing on the back of a sparrow. Does this mean we may indeed be able to defend ourselves on our sparrows? Interesting thought. The second thing that stands out to me here is the guardian on the right on that sparrow. Now I could and most probably am wrong here, but is that the speaker? Maybe she heard what Gary had planned for him and had to go rescue his ass. Moving on and here we get a shot of the European dead zone, I believe that's what it is anyway. What stands out to me here is the sparrows and guardians are riding. Now it could be just the lighting, but that wouldn't make sense as to why the guardians riding them here are in near pitch black darkness, but the sparrows themselves are glowing white. SRL in the dark confirmed. Okay, so I have seen a lot of speculation on this next part. People thinking that this is a lightsaber of some kind. When we slow it down as it's hard to actually spot at first, we see that it looks like this Guardian is holding a lightsaber. But in fact, this laser is part of the map as you can see the grid it runs on on the bottom left of the screen. And on that very last frame we see he isn't holding it at all. So sorry guys, no lightsabers. Okay, next up we see a Guardian running in cover behind this massive vehicle. What you might have missed here though is a logo on the back of said vehicle. It looks like a dragon's head to me, I wonder who it represents. Next up we see this shot of this Masterclass Hunter wearing some awesome looking Dead Orbit gear. That helmet though looks absolutely incredible, but notice what he is holding. What is that? Now I speculated yesterday that could have been a fusion, or a linear fusion, maybe even a sniper, but on closer inspection it looks to be firing like a burst shot, so could it be a pulse? No idea. Whatever it is, it sits in that energy slot. We see this thing obliterate a few Vex enemies, but it's important to state here that that explosion is not a part of this weapon's arsenal. It's the point of matching elemental burns. This is what happens. So I take out a group of void shielded enemies with a void fusion and expect fireworks. Moving on and we get to see the man bear pigs again. Here I want to point out though is what that titan is holding in this shot. That hand cannon looks awesome. Now it's hard to make out what it is. Seems of hacker design to me. But the pattern on it really really stands out. Okay so we are coming to an end now. 
And although there is plenty of action between the last point I've mentioned and the next one, it's just nothing special stood out to me there. Okay, so here we see this new foe, which I mentioned yesterday. It's going to be interesting to see his part, but I didn't notice he was standing on someone's chest here to obviously eliminate them. I wonder who that is. Will that be you in part of the story? Is this the cinematic of that part of the story? Who knows? Could it be somebody else? Could it be a main vendor of some sort? Could it be one of the Vanguard leaders? Who knows? Lastly, check out this enormous Vex boss. I believe this might be a strike boss. And yesterday I said this may be the biggest boss we've ever seen, but completely forgot about Oryx. But then again, I think this fella might be even bigger than him. But what do you think? Let me know down below in that comment section. And guys, that is the end of the video. If I missed anything worth mentioning and you guys spotted it, let me know down below in that comment section. Hope you enjoyed the video. Subscribe if you're new around here and enjoy Daily Destiny videos. And I will see you on that next one always in the wrong knowing where we stand but you and I will carry on we never get it right